Okay, so we're going to have a look at using Onshape today to create a um, container-based room. So we're going to do it to scale. So the first thing we need to do is once we open it, just press the word create. And we're going to create a document and we need to give it a name. So I'm just going to type in container and press OK. Now that will then open because we're doing this all online, it's going to open the working area. So we're going to start by doing a sketch. So I'm just going to draw out a rectangle, which is going to form the base of the container. So to do that, I'm going to press sketch and I'm going to click on the top plane. So you can see sketch one's appeared. My control panel on the top's changed and I can just click on the word top here and it spins it round straight in front of me. So I can go to the rectangle and I'm going to do change it by pressing out to a center point rectangle. So I click once in the center and I draw it out. And as I draw it out, you can see the numbers change. So I'm going to draw it to roughly the size I want. And then using this button up here, dimension, I can click on that click on the line and I can do it to the dimensions I want. So a container is normally 40, we we'll change that one to 40 and I'm going to change this one, oops, make sure I click on the thing. Took a minute to, to grab it. Um, I would advise you use an actual mouse to do this. I'm doing mine on a trackpad, so it's a little bit hard to, to do certain things. So once we're happy with it, we press the tick. And I can use my arrow keys just to spin that around. So we've got our start of our container there. And then from the top here, I'm going to do something called extrude. So I need to click on the sketch and it pings this up. So I want to change the height to, let's see what 80 looks like, too much. So let's take it back down to 40. And that's going to, I'm going to press the tick now. Now on my screen, I can use my arrow keys now just to move it around. And that's the start of my container. So, I've just clicked right, you might have missed that because I've just had to change the video slightly. And I'm going to do another sketch and I'm going to click on this surface. And we're then going to draw, I'm going to use a corner rectangle this time. I'm going to draw it in like that. So it goes all the way to the bottom. Notice the mistake I've just made. I didn't want it to go all the way to the bottom because it could put doors on this. So, we're going to go from the top. So they're down, and I'm going to dimension that. So the top line there, we want to be 34. The side line, we want to be 34. Now, hopefully, if I click that one and then click that one, I can then set that to three. So again, I click one, click the other, and change it to three. So that's given us a square inside our end. We press the tick again. I'm just going to spin it round on me cursor keys. I'm going to do extrude. Click sketch two, so it knows which sketch I'm going. And I can drag that into it. So I'm going to do it, um, the whole thing was 80 minus three, so it becomes 77. And we want to change it to remove. So when we look at that now, we've now got a hole. And I can put some doors on that afterwards. So there's my door on the front. 
I'm going to click front this time, do another sketch, click on there. It doesn't matter too much about this one now, so I'm just going to put my window on there. Oops. If, I, if you do that and you notice, just press the escape key to get rid of it. Um, to click up. So let's make that one 50. Let's make this one 20. And from there to there, I'm going to set that at 5. So once I'm happy, I press OK. I'll use my cursors just to spin it round. And again, we use the extrude feature. Click on sketch three. We're going to do remove material and press the tick. So I've now got a slight mistake. So if you just notice, I've gone partly back into that surface there. So if I go to a sketch three and click edit, I can now do a dimension between there and there. If it was 2.5, I need it to be 5. And it just automatically moves it along. When we press the tick, it's updated. So now I've got the basis of my container. In this purpose, we're just going to do this as a block model. So I might want to add some more windows and doors to it. So it's just exactly the same process. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put a little, I'm going to imagine this bit's folded up. So just to show you that, I'm going to click on that top surface with the sketch, change it to front, and then I'm going to draw another corner rectangle from here to there. Doesn't matter if I'm not perfect with the dimensions because I can click on them. So that dimension, like before, is 50. Okay, so we dimensioned that one across there quite easy. The next one's a little bit tricky with a trackpad, but Theoretically, you click one, you click the other. Make sure one dimension. Get the numbers up. And I just want to change that to three. I can press the tick again, spin it round, and I'm going to extrude sketch three, and it's going to come out. I think we did it twenty. So that gives me the start of the container. And I will just show you about adding a door onto it and putting a few little feet on the bottom. So I'm going to spin it around and do a new sketch on the bottom. And I'm going to use that corner rectangle again. So we click on bottom, but it spins round. And I'm just going to draw out one, two, three, four, and then go back to that line and set it at five. Oh. If you've only got one dimension to change to five, it makes it a bit easier. I've got two on that one. I'm just going through and changing these all to five. So you can see the speed of how we're working. Press the tick. Click extrude. Click sketch. And I'm just going to do five. So all we're doing is that when we feed that back round now, we can just see it's on some feet and I might think actually five's too big so again I can click on it go back to edit and I'll change the number to 2.5 and tick okay so we've now got some feet on it we've got an open door um, Okay, so I'm now going to look at adding a door to this. So I'm just going to click on the top and change the view. So it's just clicking on that button. The shading is hidden edges, so I can just see what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do a sketch. 
So the sketch plane is going to be this surface in there. So I've got to move it into that surface. And I'll click back on top. So I'm going to draw out my doors. So the first one's going to come out of this point. It needs to be roughly 18, so we'll sort that out in a second. It's not going to be a fully working door, so it won't matter too much. So that dimension needs to be 18. And the one on the end there, so probably from there to there. Let's click on the right dimension. Needs to be three. So that's one door. Um, we do the other door completely open. So I'm going to use a rectangle this time. So we call the rectangle from that point. I'm just going to draw it out. Get it to roughly where I want. So dimensions 18. Three, spin this round. I'm going to press the tick. Now I'm going to try and do this a different way this time to an extrude. So I click on extrude. We're extruding six. And you'll see we've got the doors up here. Now I should be able to do to next face. <coughs> Which should allow me. Oh, which should allow me to click on the face I want it to go up to. So I've just clicked on the underside of there. Press the tick, and we've now got doors on the container. Now. Just using some of the tools, I could go and put a bench along here. I'll work on that, so the next part of the video is going to be sped up, just to give you some ideas about what things you can do. So, I'm going to put a little, so I've clicked 